If your pets are easily spooked by fireworks, you'll want to listen up to this story. Jessica Perez tells us how you can help keep your pets safe this 4th of July. Hey Tracy, that's right. If your pet is like Beasley here, they might get scared by loud noises, which can cause them to go into flight mode. Many dogs and cats tend to go missing over 4th of July weekend, so I spoke with an animal control officer about what to do if your pet goes missing. Um, why are dogs scared of fireworks? Do you need me to ask the question again? Beasley couldn't answer that question. But I also asked a vet at the Yakima Humane Society. She told me there's no real reason. Some pets are just jumpier than others. If your pet is jumpy like Beasley here, they may go into flight mode and try to run away. The vet I spoke with says the best tip is to keep those pets inside. But you can also get creative, like this pet owner. Work on a lot of exercise during the day so that he's tired. Um, keep everybody in the house, and if it gets really bad, we watch World War II movies on TV, so this sounds like the sounds are coming from in the house and it's just a TV show. <laughs> so usually what I do with my dog Beasley when she gets nervous is I have an anti-anxiety vest I bought for her. So I put that on her for the 4th of July, and that kind of helps calm her. So this is her little vest, kind of like a swaddling technique. So it helps keep her nice and calm during the fireworks, right? I spoke with an animal control officer from the Yakima Humane Society who says if you do take your pet outside, make sure they're on a leash and in a fenced area if possible. It's also important to have your pet microchipped, make sure that information is up to date, and have a tag with your information on their collar. And make sure that they're safe around the season because we, we're already um, drowning in strays as it is. Amanda tells me all the local shelters are at capacity, meaning if your pet goes missing, whether they can take it in becomes a case-by-case -case basis. Even if that's the case, the clinic is always willing to scan found pets to see if they're microchipped, even if they can't take them in. If you lose your pet, make sure to call the shelter. But remember, you likely won't be the only one calling. Be patient with us. They'll get back to you definitely with it by the end of 48 hours. Um, usually they go through all the voicemails by the end of every day. Make sure your message is also detailed with a description of your pet and your name and number. You can also fill out a report on the shelter's website. If you find a lost pet, leave a description of the pet, where you found it, and contact information so you can help find the owner. Amanda says pets with tags will be prioritized because their owners will be faster finds. Makes a lot of sense. So what about giving your pet anti-anxiety medication? And do they make those vests in adult human size? <laughs> you know, I don't know if they make them in adult human size. Um, I actually got that one at our local pet store here called Earthwise. Um, but this vet I spoke to did say that if you give your pet anything, make sure you check with your pet's vet because they know their history. You don't want to end up giving them something and then do more harm than good. Uh, Tracy? Thank you, Jessica, and thank you, Beasley.